cleanup begins. So these are all bags of ash. People have been sweeping off their sidewalks, piling them into bags. There's piles like that laying everywhere. The rooftops are covered. A lot of the houses here in Antigua have these open courtyard areas. So within the house, with, within the four walls of the house in the area, there's a lot of open ceiling to laundry areas and sitting rooms and, and just different parts of the house. So all of that ash would have rained down inside basically the living areas of these houses. So cleanup is going to be a mess for a lot of people. There's like this this uh, consistent haze in the air. There's just like dust. There's hardly anybody here. And it's a very strange, eerie feeling that we have walking through the streets of Antigua where there's like not even locals walking around. Just, we're in the park right now, so there's many more people, um, but not near the amount of people when we were first here just over a week ago. This is an area that has not been swept up yet. Look at this. There's piles of ash. It looks like black sand at a beach. It does look like a black sand beach. And this is this is after they're cleaning up. So there's piles like this all over the place. The aftermath volcanic eruption and this is I mean this just everything's gotten dirty this is far enough away that you don't have the destruction you don't have the lava you don't have all the the devastation and the death that it's caused off the clocks to be real about it I mean this this has been a deadly dangerous eruption so you can see the resiliency of the people around here the volcano goes off they just come out, clean up, keep on with life. What sounds like it's the biggest explosion in Guatemalan history. 
Everything's a mess, but a little bit of time, it'll be back to normal. Yeah.